It's 27 blowout, so let's make it a video indoors today. The big golf swing is just very simple. It's basically a blended body motion. It's a natural body motion. And um, then you hit arms. So it's not real hard. Um, the easiest way I can uh, get people to kind of think about this is, let's say you're going to rock a baby, right? You just gently rock it like this. Okay, natural movement. Uh, golf swing's no different. We're bent forward, okay, and then we're just rocking. Now, if you notice, this sternum stays well in place where our spine connects to our head. It's actually in the back of the head. But it stays very stable. You know, it doesn't bob. We wouldn't bend all over the place. And this rotation that we're doing of our torso, and our hips move naturally to that movement, that uh, gives us the same low point in the, in the golf swing, so we're always going to hit the same low spot. So it's a very simple motion. Another way of thinking about it is put your hands in your pocket. Bend forward. And we're going to bend from the waist forward. It's like this. Okay? And hands in the pocket. And all we're simply going to do is turn so that our right hand is underneath our ear and then we turn back so that our left hand is underneath our ear it's just this movement you just think about your ears and your hands you'll get the proper body motion right? if you notice when I bend forward and I turn like that I get side bent doing this. It's natural movement. And I keep that side bend on my right side and just move the left hand underneath my ear. So you get that motion. And the hip naturally moves just a little bit forward like this. Now I've got side bend and back. It's a very simple motion. And it's the perfect motion for a golf swing. And you're not bobbing about. This stays very steady. You get all the angular momentum from the rotation. And now that's all left to do is add the arms. Okay, so we have that nice body rotation and move. It's very athletic. But you don't see us pitching. This way, we're not side bending here, which you see all the time, pitching the shoulder over. No, it just is to side bend on the right side. Okay, so it's not over the top this way with that shoulder going. It's simply get in your position. You can even think of it as get the left elbow closer to your pocket here. And stay in that position. Okay. And then just turn forward. And the sequence is one, two, three, four. So the sequence is your hips move first from the top down. So the hips, then your chest. Okay. Your arms are lagging behind. And they go next. And then finally. The club head goes. The club, the energy is transferred to the club. So, okay, let's add the arms. So, here's the drill, right? We're going to go from, let's make our body turn. Hold it like this. I've got two fingers on it, right? And all I'm going to do is maintain that 90. I do the rock of the baby move for. That motion I just showed you, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then it's going to let go, it's a flail, and we're just going to use the left hand, and it'll come up and around, and we'll finish like this. Let's do it from this view. 
So we do one, two, three, four. Hips, chest, arms, club. Hips, chest, arms, club. You'll notice that this really nice whipping action and a beautiful finish. Totally in balance. So all that's left to do then is add the right arm. The right arm, all that does is extend. Basically at 22 degrees out in front of you, 22 and a half. So it's up, folded, and it extends. And what that's doing is it's helping to push the flail. So the pendulum is starting to move. But we're adding speed. You can even do it with the two fingers and throw it down. We're assisting that action with the right arm. And that's the extension of the right arm gives us this beautiful swing. Power, speed, balance. It's all there. And your sequence is one, two, three, four. Hips, chest, arms, club. Do it any other way. And even good players do it. They'll get to here and have no angle. See it all the time. And you really should be here. Simply an adjustment of your wrist. Get this angle. And then they'll go hips, and then you'll see them pull down with their arms, which does this. And then their chest goes, right? And then finally the club. Well, there's no power in that. It's got to be in sequence. Sequence is key. Do the drill. Guaranteed, if you do this drill, you get the feeling of the way the left arm works. And then simply add the right arm extension. You'll be able to swing as fast as I just did.